are. So basically, you're drawing versions of my old drawings. <laughs> because some of my old drawings are a little creepy. Like this monkey. This monkey is red with a banana peel on it. See, I'm going to my eyes to make it look cuter. And I'm drawing like exactly like the sculpture. And here's the mouth. I'm gonna make it happy. I'm gonna have the drips on it. Like it actually has black on the mouth. And also in the sculpture, it has black on the hands. So I put the drips on the hands, make the black on the hands. You'll see my explain later. Now I'm trying to draw the feet of the monkey. The little feet. And here's the grass. Here's the cake. That's why I hear all the drips. That makes it look creepy. <laughs> and it's for cake. Yay, he's just eating a piece of cake and he's super messy. Very messy. It's a very messy monkey. Very messy monkey. This monkey cannot eat <laughs> unmessy. So if you come across this monkey, don't give him a eating clean challenge. Because that would never work on him. Because <laughs> if you do, um, you're going to run into a messy situation with this monkey. We are just coloring this monkey all red because that would have painted it. That was one of my old art pieces, so I chose all those colors. And we're coloring the black cake. Cake. And the grass. The next animal we're going to draw is a tiger. And yes, that's my old drawing. I now need to redraw it. I'm drawing my eyes again. I'm drawing a line between them. I'm drawing like the little white part on the head. I'm drawing the little feet. The little feet. The little... Why the heck is <laughs> going like little feet and he's like handling like a like the beast ball and he's green. He's a green tiger and he has purple eyes and he has red. No, it's not. What do you think it is? It's how I painted. So he is actually red. And here's the rainbow elephant. Okay, maybe there's not all the rainbow colors, but you know what? This is a drawing. We're drawing my own characters. We can change them a little bit. Okay, I changed the tiger to not standing up because I don't know how to draw standing up. Crazy, of course. And <laughs> what's this, Orna? We're going to color the black on the trunk and the head like it has. And we're going to say he's painting a painting. A painting with black on it. So that's how she has the black on, on her. So basically, she just, when she paints, she's messy. Which is understandable now. Now we're going to paint the face red like I used to. Red is my favorite color, so I understand why I used it a ton. And we got blue, purple, a whole rainbow elephant. It looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to color that purple. And then we have the zebra with red legs and a leather nose. So that's my zebra. That's the... And then we got the stripes. Then we got the red legs right there. We got the stripes color in. And that's a little zebra. Got a leather nose as well. On a grass hill. And there's our pig. Our pig has, like, these colorful parts to it. So let's see. We got the pig already. Now we're going to draw the platform. What has tiny little diamonds on it? Ooh, and our color all different colors. Now we need to get very good color. We got the orange part. We got Lolo. We got the we got pink. We got a, we got more purple. We got blue swirl. That actually kind of looks like the pig. Let's see got the flower kind of things on it. Now here's the fist. The fist was I actually had to shrink a thing for it. And this is all the colors on the little fist. Here we go. Little fist is in a water tank. Because this only little water. Here's our little hippo now that I made. A little hippo. And it's orange. And I mix up the thing with a uh, kind of blue green color. Now, here's our standing up ladybug. It's only Leto. 
Here's a bar arm rope. And then here's our elephant. It looks so cute. Here's our little cute little elephant. That's actually the blue elephant. The blue and orange elephant. What's his elephant hand? Now we're drawing the other elephant, which is the blue and black elephant. And also green. So in these so we're drawing them exactly like how they are. You see here that's exactly how it is. And and we drawing color and purple backgrounds. And now we're just gonna color oh, we have one more character to put in. It's the pig. I think this one looks amazing from my past self because I definitely got better than my past self. So we're coloring like the drawing like all the things, drawing like things you're calling the parts that are blue, the ears are actually blue, on the red shirt, kind of pink, because the pig is pink in the drawing, in the actual thing, and orange, I know, there's actually supposed to be gold, but there's no gold in my car pencil pack, and we got the car, no car, it looks exactly like the car, drawing the rope, calling the car red, and we then we got blue, then we got the black wheels on, which are supposed to be stickers. And then that's our car. Now we got the little drag, the little bat. Who is? Was actually from the container. <laughs> Which is actually supposed to be red. There we go. That bat, that that container completely changed into a full, into a character. Now we're calling the back room pink because I didn't use a ton of pink in this drawing, so I. So I decided that pink would be a good color to color the background. There's a different color pink than I use on pigs, okay? And... That's it! There's a lovely picture. I think it turned out pretty good. Now, there's the next one. The next one is gonna be our two little pigs that I painted in Nuts Berry Farm. Yes, I actually did it. So basically, we're doing the eye colors. We're going to make them blue. So basically, these pigs are supposed to be racing brothers. They are racing brothers, and they're cute little pigs that race together. And we're drawing. That's the pig, and we have a little smile, and we're calling the eyes black. We have little helmets. One is watermelon theme. Drawing the watermelon theme right now. And... We are just gonna go just and draw these little pigs and we got the A on his shirt, the lines, and we also got this also where's the spot? There's a spot. Oh, we're drawing the legs because the pig does have legs, you see right there, and there's a spot. And now we're gonna draw his brother. Now we're gonna draw his brother. Because his brother is Actually, his brother, and I spent a long time on his face. A very long time on his face. Okay, a very long time on his face. I thought it was too big, and let's just go. We, we made a lot of mistakes on his face, and I raced it, you see there. And now I'm drawing again a little smaller, so it'd be a smaller pig. And now I got a pretty small pig face. And now we're just drawing the little, the, where the pig skin peeks out of the helmet. And we're drawing this same back helmet. But this one's the fire theme one. So it's fire. And we got the little ears. We got the suit. This is going to have a, this one's going to have a C on it. The circle. And then we're going to have the feet again. And that's our little racing pig brothers, but they need to be in a car, of course, so I'm drawing them now. A car! And that car has wheels, of course. And that car is like a racing car, so it has like a hunting bow, and it has a street, and it has wheels. Now the next one. Where's the next one? All the way on the top. It's a little robot. Now this one's probably the newest one. I made it some I made it somewhere and it looks pretty good. It was very it's very new. I made it very recently. And we're gonna draw many lines on it. It's basically a robot made out of popsicle stick. I know that might sound a little silly, but no, that's actually the truth. And pipe cleaners. 
So basically, we got hmm, Tech Stripe. That's his name. And he's a little robot. Now we're going to go and draw a little bunny. A little bunny, a little bunny, a little bunny, the little bunny, the little bunny, a little bunny. And the little bunny is on a skyscraper. And we got the Super Carry Lego logo. And it's on a city, like, like the Batman signal. You know the Batman symbol, right? Where it's like, Batman, can you please come here to save the day? Basically, that one is. Now we're drawing another character. Now, this character actually was in one of my older videos. This means it's very recent. <laughs> oh, these are recent. But this is probably the oldest one in this recent thing. I know that might sound crazy. Now, that's the head shape. It's supposed to look like an M, but it kind of looks like a skull. Then that's all the hair on it, like all the mane, supposed to be. And then we got the little feet, and then we got little squares and little feathers on the body because that was on the body. Don't fuck it so pretty. And then we got the little feather tail because the tail is actually a feather. It actually is a made up creature. So this guy's be friends with a made up friends with all the made up creatures because he's a made up creature. And his googly eyes are that way, pain color that way. And then we're going to draw a platform on him. Now we're going to draw a very recent character. Well, not recent as that one. Now this character was made out of all pom-poms at someone's other house. Not my house. And I'm going to just draw teeth and mouth. It's like a little kid. And this little kid loves toys. And you're going to see that in a second. Now we're going to color the eyes the exact same way. Because this one also used googly eyes. Because, you know, I was making out crap in here. Else, you know. And it's on like a hoverboard. And we've got the blue spots that are going to be blue. And now we're going to go and get a little thing. This is the toys it has on the little toys. These are the little toys that... The little thing has actually on the board. So basically the toys are hanging from a little piece of wood under under where the, the little fox stick robot is standing, tech stripe. And still drawing the toys. Those toys look pretty cool. One look like friend red, one look like a star, one look like a diamond, one look like a circle. And we got all the colors now. Now that's the scrawling guess and you can see the the pa art, pi art pictures that I'm using. Now, here's the pink. It actually took me a pretty long time to color, to make these drawings. And here's the pink, here's the pink ears and everything. Here's the little pink ears. The pink ears are for the pink ears, of course. And then, we got little pink noses with a different color because I don't want them blended. Then, we got the blue eyes, which are actually having the on the sculpture. Now we got the watermelon theme one, which has green lines and has red lines. And also has the blue shirt. And then, oh, I think I'm, I think I was sharpening the pencil. And here's the red helmet that does look watermelon themed. The next game Swiss Patrol we have is watermelon themed, so. Yeah. And here's the suits and pink. And here's the other one. Now, here's the blue that I added. That kind of looks like gray in the school. And here's the gray A. Now, we got the fire one, which is going to go and have yellow and orange all over it. That what fire is. That's the color of the fire. And we got all those colors right there. And then we got the dark blue, which is very similar. And then we got a C. I also painted the little bunny in Dr. Berry Farm. That was a little longer time than this one. Then we got the car with a paint my new paintbrush markers. I actually did a video on this one. If you remember that video. I'm using them again. And they're pretty cool. They don't dry up very easily and yeah. 
And now we're just gonna paint their car that they're in because you know they're racing car pig brothers, so they need to be in some kind of car. And yeah, now we're painting their wheels, the with the same paint best marker, and now we're painting a little black, a black street that they're racing on. Wheel wheel, we're painting a little black street that they're racing on. And now we're painting yellow on the street. And we're going to color the little buddy. Got the orange ears, the blue head, the red body, the orange ears and tail. And then we got the little feet. And then here's where the paint brush can come again. And then we're going to draw like a rock, like a slope on the, like, like a rock on the skyscraper. That's going to be blue. And then we got all the blues building come on and then we got like a little gray building that's gonna lead to this little light here and this little light is black and that's the little light and then the light's projecting like the little care symbol with sassy it's super hair symbol and then we got the little thing that actually looks like a light that's actually turned pretty cool and then we got the this little creaser and then we got the white creaser and then we got a little green head because it's made of pom-poms and the blue is also made of pom-poms. I didn't make all these crazy characters in the video. Okay. I didn't make all these things in the video. I made not any of these things in the video. Then we got the, like the little spiky pom-poms so that's why they have spikes on them. And then we got the feet are supposed to be blue. Dark blue and dark pink. That's the creature actually is. Then we got the red mouth. And we got a little color teeth. Did I actually painted accidentally painted that part? Was I fix the white paint? I know I'm right in town city, but yes, I fixed white paint. Now here's all the toys that I painted with paint markers. There's like the friend bear toy, we got the weird star shape toy, we got the we got the little ball toy, we got the little diamond toy, we got a little circle toy as well. And then we got all of the things. And then we got the little red mane. Yeah. The little red mane. The little red mane is awesome. Because, you know, it's pretty cool. And then we got more of the little red stuff. And then the body, the little feathers. And basically everything about this drawing. And then we got blue when we put the little spikes on because they can pop up again. And then we need to color the thing green. We color the head green. And there's the whole white thing. Then we need to color the head green. That needs to be green because honestly, if it's not green, it's not the same crease. Now we're going to be coloring text stripe. And nope, we're going to go on the platform with my face in it again. Why? Why? Okay, okay, okay. We're painting with paint markers and apparently to really focus. Those paint markers take a long time. And then we're gonna go and color some the pipe cleavers on text stripe. Because they're orange and pink in real life. I'm just looking at the sculpts we're making see if my colorings right. And then the rest is rainbow. Rainbow! It, the rest is rainbow. It's pretty cool all the red and orange and all the blue and purple and yellow and green are all in this drawing. We got the little spots which are in like some type of cop card. We got the blue and red antlers. Not antlers. Those little robot things. Blue and green eyes with different colored eyes. I mean, the same different color eyes as Bob from the Minions. And then we got the red on the little robot, on the little tech stripe. Then we got a little smile. Then we're going to color all the rainbow. Look at that. It's good about to get very colorful, very rainbowy. So, wash out. <laughs> you don't need to really wash out. Because if you're watching my channel, you probably like color. And I like color. <laughs> so, rainbows are just colors put together. And there's our little rainbow. That looks exactly like him. Now we're going to paint the little orange. And we're going to paint the orange over the brown. Which didn't really work. 
blending didn't really work in this case, but it worked pretty good as well. Then we got the toy thing that's hanging in, like I said, we like what you, what you put over like a baby crib, and then you got the purple background, a purple background because I did not use purple. Well, maybe not on one, maybe on a few places that I use purple, but in most of the drawing I did not use purple, so I'm gonna paint the background purple. And here's the little purple background. Pink and purple kind of go together. So these pictures go together because these are old drawings. These are old creations. These are new creations. So this shows just how much I have improved over time. I definitely improved since my old self. Which is actually pretty good. But I still like my old, my old sculptures. And I still have them today. And I still have them today. I did not just say them for this video. I actually had this idea for a pretty long time, and it was a pretty neat idea. And there's my picture. So, that's the end of this video. So, make sure to give me a like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to ring the bell, press the fans. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.